You know, I, so many of you out there can understand what this is, what you can see behind me. This image, this picture, this reflection. Now, don't look at yourself like you, you may be, uh, if you're that woman, em envision yourself for that, for that man. See this picture in your mind of what this has looked like. And I'm sure we can all reciprocate and all share in that pool called despair. Or even, I would say, the, 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 the cousin of despair being anguish. We would also throw in the family being bitter. Due to what, though? Why, why would this be? Not only that, who are you? Well, my name is Neil Render, and I want to share this short message about despair. And there's some things in your life that you will go through that can cause despair and anguish and bitterness unto life's issues, life's situations, life's frustrations that go on. And I understand you was hoping that you was going to maybe get that degree. I get it. That, that business plan, that business, uh, when you ventured out and you spent all that money and put in all your savings or from your checking account. And you told all your friends and family how you had this great, this oh so great idea that was really going to make it or really hit it off big time. But alas. Life's situations came to a flop. It really puts you in quite a distasteful situation. Might even have looked bad in front of people. One thing about this, though, I want to encourage you and share with you this day. You can have, and I share this all the time because it's a very real message. This isn't some camp speech. This isn't some prepared message about what you think you can do, whatever you think you want to do, it's this. You can have your best life now. Now I share this with you. Some people may say, ah, well, I've been there, but how, how do I come out of that? And it's this. God is able to do it by way of a total miracle to change your life. One thing God can do is when you put your trust and your hope, and your life, and your destiny in Him, He will turn your situation totally around. Well, well Neil, the reason why I'm looking like how you were looking years back is because certain health issues, Neil. What do you tell me regarding that? And it's this. You pray. You seek the Lord. You don't just hear a good revelated word. You embody that word, you take that word, you get it in your spirit, and you move by faith. With man, it's impossible, but with God, all things are possible to him that believes. God can do anything but fail. You know, so many times people may think, well, you know, that's for them, or that's for my cousin, my auntie, my father, my mother, the, the wife, the husband, the ex-wife, the ex-husband. No. When you put your trust and you put the life that you have in his, in his unchanging hands, he will literally do the miraculous for your life. A lot of the times I call it the game changer. So definitely turn that frown upside down. There's no situation that's too small that God cannot fix. His arm is not short like men's arms that, that men cannot say that God's hands and I reach down to the lowest depths and bring you out and bring you through your worst trial, tribulation, situation, allegation, or state of frustration. One, two, three, four, five. Truly, it's that number of grace. And if you add two to it, you get that number seven. And that's the number of completion. That when you get God in your life, you will complete those works that need to be worked out, the prayer situations, and things that have really been a debacle, a messed up situation, a tragedy, and we will turn your way unto strength and in your faith. Truly, do not allow despair and anguish and bitterness in the end of you. Truly, this is Neil Rinder here. God bless you.
Ela dá um livro.